Okay, so what's going on is uh, I'm at the uh, Lowe's here, the big home shopping store. Now, I need to get a decorative outlets, but right where I was working, as soon as I looked at the decorative outlets, some guy came up there, one of the workers, and he started making noise there. Now, I'm going to go back there again watch. He'll still be there. Now, I bought a bunch of other stuff while, you know, hoping he'll go away, but he didn't go away. So, watch what happens when I go there, you know. You won't believe this shit. This is the harassment that they do. They know when, the, when I was in my house, my neighbors or somebody, because they listened to my conversation. They knew that um, I'm going to buy some decorative outlets and shit like that, right? So what they do is they send the uh, guy like right behind me, right where I'm at, you know. Now, I'm actually getting tired because I'm actually a little bit sick right now. I'm going to try one last ditch effort to get this thing. Remember, I have to look at it because... I don't really know, you know what I mean, I don't really, it's like, uh, out here. so here we go again, last, last dish effort here, you see that guy right there, yeah, you see him right there, he's been there for like, as soon as I showed up, and he won't leave till I leave, I bet, leave the store, but here we go. Just at the Lowe's, and uh, what happened is when I was leaving, the uh, lady was giving me a hard time, you know. But first of all, the, the machine that I had, the self-checkout machine didn't work right a couple of times. Weird clicking and stuff like that. And when she came to help me, she was so slow and like, like she got nowhere to go. Then she, uh, I left the cart there. I mean, honestly, it's cold outside. I don't really need to you know, what am I supposed to do with the cart? And then she's like, go oh, take the cart. Why would I take the cart outside? You know what I mean? It's cold out there. What's the point of me taking the cart outside? You know, so there's this kind of harassment they do, even in the stores. And I, I almost had a feeling, and while the whole time while I'm checking out, she's watching me like I'm going to steal some bullshit. You know what I mean? Just, just bull crap. This is the harassment they do, even in the stores. I just need to get my stuff. And right where I needed to, to get my stuff, my white decorative outlet, GCFI, there the guy was standing there, just just like I showed you, right? You're standing right there. This is all part of the harassment thing. They know, like, you know, law enforcement neighbors knew I was going to go. They let these guys know that I'm looking for this thing and the stand right. I mean, think about how big this store is. And, and there's a person right there at the same time where I need to go. This is what this is the stuff I'm talking about. Normally, I don't film in the stores. You know what I mean? I just film like in front of my house and stuff like that, or somebody's following me, the neighbor's following me, or goes behind me or something like that. But you know, this this is the kind of bullshit that I gotta do. Now I'm also sick right now, so you know I need to go to another store. I'll see. I don't know, man. I don't know if I could. Already upset. So this is what they want to do. They want to keep you constantly stressed. And this is this is not the first time this type of ha thing has happened where they inform the store employees about me and they, they kind of like harass me to like follow you around or follow you out the store. Have somebody come at the same time you you, uh, you arrive at your car or something. You know, that, that type of stuff. You know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. That's what it is. You know, now, I realize I'm sick, I'm not, so I'm not looking the happiest, but you know what I mean, I mean come on, man. So, and then when, when, the, when I asked, finally had to ask that guy to actually get me something, because he was kind of like blocking the way and stuff. And then he gave me the wrong thing. And then he lied to me and said, oh, it wasn't tamper resistant. And I could see, you know, the outlets sometimes are tamper resistant. And he got a little cover thing on them. Well, they got a little cover thing on them. And then he's like, it's not tampered. And I'm, I'm clearly looking at it like it's tampered. Then he's lying to me about the price and bullshit like that. You know, just just being an asshole in general. Uh, you know, so he purposely blocked 
I, I wonder if he really even had to do something there. Now, I saw this guy before when I was going through the aisles. And I wonder if he just like targeted me or something. Just. And then he, even one of his other employees was asking why he was working there. It looked like he was actually was supposed to work in a different spot. Do you see what I'm saying? They're just like goofing around and just making stuff up and just generally making your life hard for nothing, you know? And I don't even know because I didn't look at it properly if this is the right item, you know? I checked it was tamper resistant GCFI, but you know, the box looks a little funky. And we'll see what happens. Now I'm going home. <laughs> So when you're sick, they bother you more, you know what I mean? It's like, it's an opportunity for them to like, make you pop, to trigger you. You know what I mean? You know, this has been going on for quite a while. <laughs> almost seven years. This has been going on for almost seven years, you gotta understand. This is not like, you know, one month or a year or something. You know what I mean? Even a year would be a long time to be bothering somebody. But nearly seven years of this, even at the stores, even at the stores, man, same thing, I mean, if I didn't film this, nobody would believe it, you wouldn't even believe it, they'd just say, oh, you're just imagining things, or, you know, it's not true, now, I'll go home, and I'll show you the outlet, which, uh, have an outlet out there, which, uh, which doesn't work, I'll show you, which I need to get, <laughs> So I tell you, the stores do it too. They, I mean, basically, it's very simple. Law enforcement contact the store. Hey, we need you to do this, this, this. And then, you know, and then they do it. I know, it's just, it's a small thing. He's just standing there, but, you know, he's also making noise and other stuff. And <laughs> Think about the whole damn store. Nobody, except right there, where I need to get my stuff. I mean, right in right front of the white one, too. Not the brown one or the gray one or the other colors, or, you know. Talking about the outlets that I'm purchasing GCFI. Sad because you know, you can imagine, you know, I'm sleepy and stuff. I need to get home because I'm actually tired and sick. I mean, you, even when you're sick, like they bother you, so you know you don't recover as fast. If you actually need to get something from the stores or something, now you're in real trouble. I was okay. The thing is, when you're sick, is sometimes you feel good, and you think you're okay, and then you get you later. They do it on purpose, just to like, kiss you off and stuff like that. Okay, I'm about to get to home. Let's see if she's still parked there, still parked there. And my neighbor, Crashed his car or something too. Just unbelievable. 